Joining me now is Democratic Governor of Washington State, Jay Inslee. He's the longest serving governor in the United States. He's the co-author of Apollo's Fire, Igniting America's Clean Energy Economy. He ran for president on a platform of uh, combating climate change. Governor, good to see you again. Thank you for being with us this morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Let's talk about uh, about some of the stuff. In fact, just last night, we heard uh, the presidential uh, candidate, uh, Donald Trump, former president of the United States, talking about how he's going to have to remake the Justice Department, and this is all politicized. We're actually, we have two realities here. We have a re Republican Party that is supporting the rolling back of rights at the state level, at the federal level, um, a, a president bent on retribution and vengeance, and a whole lot of Americans who would just actually like to be their, their whole complete selves wherever they live. This is an interesting dichotomy for people making choices about where to be. It is, and I would I would say the fundamental. I get I come back to this. I'm certainly not the first one to say this, but we have to understand that what is fundamentally uh, an attack uh, under attack in in the United States is democracy itself. When you hear the the losing president, he lost the election, by the way. Cults don't do real well in the long run. Uh, that uh, democracy is still under threat, and and this individual who is still at large, at least for the moment is running around the country threatening democracy in a continued refusal to accept the election results. And the language he is using, you, you, you hate to be too apocalyptic, but the language he is using is one that uh, other societies have heard when they slipped away from a democracy into an autocracy. So I would say this is much more than sort of a blue versus red uh, debate. We can have those debates and have for centuries in this country. But the fundamental way of what we hold dear is under attack still from this losing president. Uh, that's why I think all of us uh, should make voting decisions with the, the, the current fellow there who's not only creating jobs, he's creating freedom across the United States, including my state. So let's talk about something that you and I talked about on Friday night, and, and I'm beginning to think is apocalyptic, and it's the rate at which people are getting gunned down in this country. Um, it's, it's already remarkable that that is, uh, for most parents, that is their biggest fear now. It is the largest killer of children, gun right. violence. Um, random people got gunned down last week because of the culture of fear in which we live. <laughs> that is actually something that's very, very serious, and you have actually done something about this in, in Washington State. Goes back to a long time ago, 1994, when you were a member of Congress and you voted for the assault weapons ban, uh, cost you your seat back then. But now you have one in, in Washington state. You bet. We're doing three big things this year. We're uh, banning the future sale of assault weapons. These are weapons of war. You ought to be free from having a weapon of war in your school. We are requiring safety training in a 10-day waiting period before you buy a firearm. These measures have been shown to actually reduce gun violence in other states where it's been done. And we're passing a bill that will hold manufacturers appropriately liable for their misconduct. These are three common sense measures. We know they will have an impact. And I think one of the things that when we were talking about this subject today, there's some things about freedom that you don't maybe uh, associate with, with political activity. It is a freedom to be able to have your kid go to school and not worry about getting shot. That's a freedom issue. Uh, you ought to be free to breathe. Mm -hmm. Now, our kids couldn't breathe clean air. We, this is one day past Earth Day. Our kids couldn't be you know, have the freedom to breathe because of all the pollution coming out from carbon. And now we're, we're suffering climate change. I was in Mount Rainier the other day. We've lost half our, of our size of our glaciers. These are freedoms in itself. These are freedoms in kind of how we actually live our lives. And those things are under attack as well. So, yes, we're moving forward uh, against gun violence. I'm glad other governors, uh, Democrats, are joining us. That's where the action is in favor of freedom right now. It's in blue states. Of course, the other thing, and, and let's just for a moment put aside LGBTQ and trans rights, which have become very popular um, places to attack, uh, abortion. Um, the, 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 the current conversation that we are in right now about Mifepristone, the most common form of uh, medication abortion, the most common form of abortion in America right now. Again, you and some other governors took some steps to say no matter what happens with this Texas ruling and at the Supreme Court and at the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, people will be able to get Mifepristone in your state. Tell me about that. Well, this is the ultimate freedom. This is the ultimate uh, uh, attempt to intrude on, on a woman's freedom in the most intimate decision of their lives, whether to bear children or not. There can hardly be a more intrusive, oppressive violation of freedom than the Republicans' effort to, to order women 
to carry uh, pregnancies to term. And that's essentially what, what this is. So we have acted forcefully and, and aggressively. We uh, ordered stockpiling the Mifepristone before the Texas decision. And that has proven to be a very successful policy because no matter what the Supreme Court does, it doesn't matter what they rule in regard to the Texas decision, we will be able to distribute this uh, safe, effective, efficient uh, pharmaceutical to women in our state uh, regardless. So I'm glad we did that. I hope that the Supreme Court will uh, get their fingers burned and back off. They may. I think the Republicans are getting a little gun shy now. We see Governor DeSantis signing a bill to effectively outlaw abortion. Then he, refused, he didn't want to let anybody know about it because the Republicans know that they're wildly out of a touch with the basic value system of Americans on this subject. So we acted aggressively. It's not the only thing we have to do. We will see states try to uh, enact, I believe, uh, travel bans, uh, as they have in my adjoining state of Idaho. And we are uh, providing freedom of choice in our state, regardless where you came from. We're going to have to be very creative in the years to come. Governor, good to see you. Thanks uh, for spending so much time with us in the last few days. Democratic Governor Jay Inslee of Washington State.